I'm Jenny from Jenny's Crime Collection. Are you excited today to find out which one's better? Crayola permanent markers or Sharpie permanent markers? Well, I'm so excited to go through this with you today and have some rounds and see which ones I like better. So um, before we begin, please make sure you hit the subscribe button below. I'll be doing lots of other versus videos. I also do some coloring with me and I also do some uh, sorting colors because I know everyone loves to sort colors. So um, here we go, let's start. So first off, the first round I always like to talk about is packaging. How do you put your markers back together? So um, packaging is really important to be able to put the markers and store them because I like to store them and I like to store them by type. So let's look first, first round, Sharpie. It comes in this package. So I don't know if all Sharpies do this, but um, these are the ones I bought on Amazon to compare. Very easy to store back. Just a plastic tab that goes back on. Easy to store, easy to put back where they came from. So Crayola Permanent Markers, you can see I've already opened these. You cannot put them back in the same storage container because yeah, they fall out. So I'd have to keep them in something separate, like a bag or something. So right there, round one goes to Sharpie because yeah, they have an actual bag to put them in. I can take them and pick them up and move them around. These ones I'd have to put in another bag put them around so round one goes to Sharpie. The next round that I want to talk about is name. Okay, so these are called Crayola Take Note Permanent Markers. Now that's a tongue full. There's not really a way that you can shorten that, so um, I would love for them to have some kind of shortened name that would be easy to talk about. These ones are called Sharpies. When you think about a Sharpie, you get a permanent marker. Sharpie also makes other types of products. They also make thin line, they make like paint markers, they make a ton of stuff. And so they, but when you think Sharpie, you think Sharpie. So as far as name goes, <clears throat> Sharpie has that one down. The round goes to Sharpie. If Crayola can come up with a cute name, they can, uh, not a cute name, if they can come up with a, easy name, just like one syllable, then they might, they might take this category or they might tie. So, um, the next round, so when you think of crayons, you think of Crayola. When you think of permanent markers, you think of Sharpies. So we need to remedy that. Okay. <clears throat> so the next round goes to color, um, names of color. So on the back here, you can see the names of color on the actual box. A lot of times Crayola does this, but then they don't name the marker. Well, recently, I don't know if it's because, you know, I've had a lot of people asking, what color is this? I know the hundred count markers. People want to know the colors all the time. I'm like, I don't know. They're like, how can you tell me? I'm like, I don't know, because it's not labeled on the box. It's not labeled anywhere. I just have a list. It's my best guess. But here, they, They've actually labeled the colors. They're now labeled. And so all of these colors are labeled. So I'm still not a super fan of all the color names because I feel like if someone's using permanent markers, they're not gonna want fun names. They just want a permanent marker to put on something, you know, or you can color with it. But a lot of times you're just using a permanent marker to draw on a box, on a bag, you don't really care what the name is. So they have like Beat Goes On, Mighty Mango, just call it red, just call it orange. Always Ox, just call it black. Meanwhile, Sharpie doesn't have any color names. So this round definitely goes to Crayola because they have color names and color names always beats non-color names. So in the next round, we're gonna talk about is, and I'm gonna try them out with you, is we're gonna talk about the actual colors. Cause when you're coloring with these, you want to make sure that they have a vibrant color. You're gonna want to like the color that they produce. Especially if you're not just buying plain black. If you're buying other colors, that means you probably 
probably want some sort of color differentiation. So we're gonna try out the colors. Um, these don't have color names, the Sharpies do. These do, but as I've discussed before, I'm not in love with them, so I'm just gonna call red, red. So. The colors were pretty similar, except for Sharpie had a light green and Crayola had a pink, and I think pink wins in my boat. Also, the Crayola colors were a little bit more vibrant and easier to write with, I noticed, especially the light colors. So this round goes to Crayola because the colors, there's just a little bit more saturation and differentiation between the colors. Um, most of the colors are a little bit lighter. Some of them are pretty similar, but, and then Crayola has pink. And if you hear that baby, that's my little baby. She's playing over there. The next round that we're gonna talk about is how they go on surfaces, because that's one of the most important things too. How are my permanent markers or Sharpies gonna go on a surface? And that's what I really want to know. Uh, I want to know how well they stay, how well they mark, um, and all that. And of course, one thing when they go on paper, we know we're gonna get bleed through. It's a permanent marker, and it should bleed through. You don't use permanent markers on things you don't want it to bleed through. So, um, the next round that we're gonna try is on surfaces. So I have some cardboard, I have this, ooh, these are some of the other things I've done. So I have my five star thing I'm gonna write on and a bag, because who doesn't write on plastic bags? So we'll try our black. Sharpie and this one. Okay, so we're just gonna draw a square. What should we write? Should we write fun? Sharpie fun, oh, that's probably. Okay, so it looks good. Doesn't smear. That's a plus, because you never want your permanent marker to smear or color to come off your, on your hands. Okay, let's see if this one smears. Oh my gosh, look at that, Crayola. You know, and I wonder if I just drew a line and waited if it wouldn't smear. We'll have to test that out. Let's see if this one does smear, if I just, oh yeah, oh, it must have been too soon afterwards, so. It probably won't smear now. So maybe it takes a second for these things to dry. Yeah, that one doesn't smear. So it just happened to be the time I was doing it. Might have waited a second to try the Crayola one, it doesn't smear now. So I would say they both don't smear. Let's try lighter colors, like a yellow, a yellow line. Okay, I need to put this up next to something that's white. Ah, oh, not the page I just drew on, because the bleed through is crazy. Oh yeah, let me show you. This is the bleed through <laughs> from the markers. That's a lot of bleed through, but they are permanent. Okay, so let's put this over here. So that yellow looks pretty good. Let's try, oh, that was a Sharpie yellow. Okay, let's put them next to each other then. They look pretty good. Okay, let's try um, tills. Uh, let's write, yes. So this is Crayola. Oh, that one's Crayola. Let's try the Sharpie one. Yes, so this one actually doesn't go down as well. I don't know why. See, this one isn't um, as saturated. They both don't. So I would actually pick for some of the colors, I would pick Crayola over Sharpie, but we'll talk about that in a minute. I'm go actually, no, that, that's part of this. So lay down and how they go on surfaces part. So I would actually, Maybe give it to Crayola. Look at how vibrant that is. And this one, it just doesn't look like it's, especially, let's see. Yes. We don't have, ooh, let's try the pink. Pink, oh my gosh, I'm in love. That went down super easy. Oh, I must have hit that way. I hit it at just the right time. Okay, so next surface, cardboard. So let's label things. Okay, this is going to be my kitchen box because that's what we do with these, right? When you're moving. Normal noises for a Sharpie to make. 
It looks good. Okay, let's try the tills again. And I'm gonna say boys room. I should have done this like on the side so you guys could tell. Maybe I'll try that on the other one. This one goes down so much better. I don't know if it's just the formula, so I'll put Crayola. This one was Crayola. And this one was Sharpie. Sharpie. So let's see if we can put it on over here. On my bag too. So this one was Sharpie, Sharpie, I think this one was Sharpie. This one, it probably wouldn't have smudged if I had waited. Okay. And then the Crayola one. Crayola, 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 Crayola. Okay, so there we have it. And then what other surface? I wanted to see how it drew like on a Paper surface that isn't uh, uh, that is a little plasticky because sometimes planners and stuff will have it like this, and that's the worst is when you draw. Hey, is when you draw on like a planner, and you're so excited, you made it cute, and all of a sudden you go like this, and it smudges, and you try again and again, and it doesn't work. So, I actually, should go grab my planner because my name in the front of it keeps smudging. I should use a permanent marker. So I'm gonna write Jenny. I'm gonna wait for it to dry. I'm just gonna write Jen. Okay, so this one was with the Sharpie. Okay, and then this one is with the Crayola. Okay, wait for it to dry. Five, four, three, two, one. Okay, oh yeah, they're both good. I'm definitely gonna use this on my planner instead of what I have been using. So out of all three of these, they all did good. I would say this round goes to Crayola just because of this one. Look at how much different. And what was another one? The greens. Let's try the greens. So this is that's Sharpie. This one's oh yeah, see how much darker it is? It just goes on a little bit uh, more saturated. So I would say that one goes to Crayola. So what did we learn from our little experiment on Crayola versus Sharpie today? First round went to Sharpie because of their packaging. It's easy to put them back together. Crayola falls apart and then I have to put them back together, put them in a bag probably to keep them together. These ones stay close. Okay, color names, Crayola has color names on them and they're actually named, Sharpie doesn't, so the round goes to Crayola. Okay, as far as colors go, uh, Crayola wins because they're slightly uh, more saturated. They're a little bit more differentiated. The next round is on lay down. Uh, if we're going black for black, I'd say it's a tie. If you're going for some of the lighter colors, uh, Crayola wins the round on that one. As far as like just naming of the actual device sharpie wins because you can say sharpie you know what it means so you have to say crayola permanent marker it's just not easy to say sometimes when things are not easy to say it's just not as fun but that's definitely something crayola can improve on so and then is there another one bleed through they both die because they're both horrible they both bled through 
So uh, that's it. If you have any questions or if there's anything I didn't cover in this video, let me know. If you've tried both Sharpie and Crayola, take note, let me know too, and let me know which one you liked better. So, okay, so after all these rounds, who's the true winner? You know what, Crayola did a very good thing here, and I think they are the winner with these, which I was surprised. I thought Sharpie might have it they've been around so long but Crayola really came through and I also want oh I didn't do this round but I want to say they both smell about the same so I just noticed it said low odor but Crayola won there's a few things they could work on as far as the name and packaging but other than that they are the winner which I'm surprised because I love Sharpie and I was really surprised that Crayola won it I you know and I was really surprised that Crayola won it congratulations and don't forget to subscribe and hit this video if you liked it. I will be doing lots more. Uh, I'll be doing more verses and I'll be doing color with me and I also do some color sorting on my channel. So I hope you have a great day and I will see you guys later.